My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. I wasn't planning on uploading anything today, but something kind of kept running around in my head and that is the fact that um, that performance yesterday in that uh, it's over uh, vlog was so fake I mean even for Amber's standards she's a bad actress and uh, she um, I don't know sometimes she does things where, where we're thinking we would never do that but what she did in that vlog is she kept looking to the left and uh, she usually, and for those of you that remember Shivy Pop, that's a channel that used to analyze Amber's nonverbal communication. Um, she used to say that um, Amber's life factory is f from our p point of view uh, on the right bottom. Uh, and uh, where she looked this time, though, again and again and again and again, so often, um, is the upper left. And um, I got a feeling either there was somebody in the room, or since she only has an IQ of 70, maybe there's a picture there of Emily, or maybe she um, just re-watched the videos that they took. And so um, she was looking at a screen where Emily um, was, uh, that uh, Emily was on. I don't know. But what I would like to do is, and um, I would like to um, put a disclaimer here, um, what you're about to see is not a reaction to yesterday's uh, uh, video, it's over. That is the video prior to this one. What I'm doing in this video is just I sped it up to 125% and um, I put a ding every time she looks to the, uh, from our point of view to the right, where I could totally imagine Emily was. And... Um, before I get that started, uh, I would also like to say that I'm getting um, an increasing feeling, an, an intensity increasing feeling, um, that they didn't break up. That she's trying to pull um, another stunt that she pulled on us before. Uh, when Remember when YP said that she's polyamorous and then Amber was dumb enough to tell us that? And um, and then Amber didn't want to identify with that, you know, being in a polyamorous uh, relationship because why should the princess share her life partner with anybody, right? And so um, she decided to just come out and say a YP and her broke up and she's with another YP. Remember that? I think she's pulling the same stunt again. I think Emily and her did not break up because that was so fake. Her, th that video yesterday was so fake and she went from smile to looking mean to trying to cry but there were no tears. I think it's all fake. I think she's trying to get us to back off from Emily so that she still stands a chance uh, getting into a relationship with that feeder and uh, that's why she posted the video uh, yesterday. I might be wrong. I don't care. I always uh, tell you how I, you know, I, I call them how I see them. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But, okay, let's just, um, I'm, I'm going to put the video here. Um, if you are sensitive uh, audio-wise or with your ears to a lot of dings, to a lot of repeating uh, harsh sounds, then please don't watch it or, or turn it down. It'll... It'll still show. I mean, you can still see how often she looked off to the left there. And um, I don't know, guys. L l let me know what you think. If you think it's possible somebody was actually there. Hi, guys. I look like crap because I feel like crap. I really don't even know what to say. But, like, you guys don't know the full story at all. And I think that's, like, 
the hardest part of this whole thing is like there is a big part of the story missing but I'm never going to sit there and talk about other people's personal things because that's not that's not me that's not who I am but because of this me and now my ex we are not together anymore and this has left her like debilitated like literally like her mental health has gone down so much like she's literally one of the greatest people and it's like to see people say things that are not true at all like it's not surprising that's literally what people do that's what they've done my whole freaking youtube career and for these people to act like they care about me now yes i know there are thousands of you who love me and support me and want to see me happy and i appreciate those messages but you guys have no idea like i feel it but all of these people who act like they care about me and they're worried about me bull bull like you guys have never wanted to see me happy there are so many of you who love to see me miserable and you're getting that you want again you literally want again what's happening is not okay like it's not and this is the very fucking reason why i don't want to show people in my videos it has nothing to do with me and everything to do with so many of you i am talking to a big part of you but i'm not talking to all of you so i need that to be like fully known like i know there are a lot of people who love and support me like i know that but like right now that is not being heard as much as i feel it what is really being heard is like y'all are ruining someone's life who does not deserve it like it is freaking crazy what is happening right now you guys have interfered with my life in a way that like it makes me want to just fucking disappear you guys have no idea like if you guys knew the full story you'd be like oh wait a minute but you don't and you'll never know but like to find out all this fucking shit and then make your own narrative with it and say that i'm in danger you guys have no idea what you're talking about this has pushed me away completely pushed me away i don't think i'll be the same for a long time like truly a long time because i i had a future planned and i was happy and i was so fucking happy and so loved and now we aren't together anymore because like her mental health comes first and her safety comes first I should have known something like this was gonna happen because nine times out of 10, people make the smallest thing that I do or say or whatever it may be into like a fucking huge thing. Like, I should have known, like, I should have known. I shouldn't have ever shared her. I shouldn't have done it. But we were so fucking happy and in love and on cloud nine, like, literally, like, I've never felt so loved before. And to have that taken from me because of people who actually hate me, and that actually want to see me miserable, they don't care. Like, they don't care. It's all just for fucking show and for drama and people monetizing and making money. Like, it's not fair. But I hope that these people are happy because not only did they ruin my life, but they're ruining someone else's life. And her mental health is not good right now, and neither am I. Like, I'm literally, like, look at me. Like, I just am a fucking mess. Like, everything right now feels heavy and scary, and it's just not okay. Like, I regret so badly ever sharing her. I know people are gonna watch this and just not give a fuck. They're just gonna roll their eyes and just not care. I feel like my words don't matter to a lot of people or the way that I feel. They never have mattered. People watch me to just laugh at me and to hate me. And I'm realizing like people just wanna ruin my life and um, it worked, so. People literally just don't think before they post. They're fucking just hungry for the next drama, the next thing to make me look bad or to make someone i love look bad like that's just what they're waiting for and when they thought they found that they turned it into something way bigger than what it really is and you guys again do not know the full story and it's sad but you never will i really don't know what else to say besides i just i kind of just feel defeated and hopeless and i'm absolutely heartbroken like it's just the worst feeling in the world to go from being so fucking happy and like so sure of my feelings and my future to have that just ripped away from me over something that I didn't even do like that's like the hardest part amazing isn't it usually she switches between uh, checking herself out in the viewfinder countless times in every vlog and looking into the camera and this time it was a uh, camera and only a few times um, the viewfinder but so many times off to the from her point of view left side uh, 
from our point of view, of course, the right side. And also, I have a question. Where did the hickey go? It hasn't even been a week and the hickeys or hickeys are gone. Uh, she probably put them on with makeup. I wouldn't put it past her because she's just that desperate. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buying the breakup. Um, I think she's trying to um, get us off the scent of that relationship. And uh, she didn't mention anything. That was strange, too, uh, in the vlog yesterday. She did not mention how it happened, who broke up with whom. Did Emily say, okay, this is too much exposure for me? Because she's been making sure that her sex life is known on the Internet. I mean, she's not a shy person. So what actually happened? Amber completely forgot uh, to tell us that is weird too and that makes me think that that was just a performance maybe for emily maybe for her mom who knows i don't know and i don't really care but interesting thought right <laughs> all right you guys i'm gonna go you uh guys enjoy your weekend and i'll see you in the next one bye